Hi, I'm Brandon, a physical therapist at Heartland Orthopedic Specialists, a department of Douglas County Hospital. Today we're going to be covering approved exercises for our total hip and total knee joint replacement camps. These exercises are important for helping regain strength, range of motion, and reducing symptoms prior to surgery and will help speed up the recovery process after the surgery. If at any point doing these exercises produce sharp, shooting, stabbing pains, please stop doing the exercise and consult a physician or a physical therapist if needed. We're going to start by bringing the toes and the feet up towards the ceiling, push the foot and the toes away from you, and then repeat at a nice quick pace to aid in increasing blood flow, circulation, and helping to reduce your risk of blood clots. Here we're going to start by placing a towel roll directly underneath the knee. We want you to push down into the towel roll, tightening up your thigh muscle. Hold for five seconds, and after the five seconds, then relax, and then repeat. Here we're going to start by squeezing your buttocks together, squeeze nice and tight, hold for five seconds, after the five seconds, then relax. When you're doing this on a firm surface, you should see the hips coming up slightly off of the table. For this one here, what we want to do is start off by first sliding over a little bit to give yourself adequate room on the bed. We're going to slide the leg out just as far as you're comfortable and then slide the leg back in again, making sure that you keep both your knee and your foot pointing up towards the ceiling, not rotating out to the side. Just at a nice steady pace, you do not need to hold, but just back and forth. If you have difficulty sliding the leg on the bed, place a plastic sheet, a sheet of cardboard, or a cookie sheet underneath your leg to help reduce the friction. Now we're gonna slide our heel up towards the buttocks as far as what you're comfortable and then slide back down holding for five seconds when you get towards the top. Again with this one if you're having difficulty or there's too much friction on the bed sheet underneath the heel feel free to put down a sheet of plastic, sheet of cardboard or a cookie sheet. For the short arc quads, we're going to place a bolster underneath the knee. This is something that we're looking for about six to eight inches in diameter. Things that you could use for this at home would include rolled up blankets, rolled up pillows, cylindrical Tupperware, coffee cans, anything that's approximately this size. We're going to keep the back of the knee on the bolster throughout the exercise. We're going to extend the knee, kicking your foot up towards the ceiling, tightening your thigh muscle and holding for five seconds. For this exercise, we're gonna have you scoot forward towards the front third of the chair. Then we're going to slide 
the surgical foot back as far as what you're able to bring it. Hold for five seconds and then slide it back out. Again, holding for five seconds and then repeating. Trying to go a little further each time. If you're having difficulties due to friction underneath the foot, you can certainly put a washcloth or something underneath the foot to help reduce the friction. For this exercise, we're going to take the good leg, wrap it around the front of the ankle of the surgical foot. We're going to pull back as far as what you're able to bring it. In that position there, we're going to scoot forward on the chair. Again, just applying more overpressure, pushing it as far as what your knee will allow you to go, holding for 10 seconds, and then after the 10 seconds, then you can scoot back into the chair or release the foot relieving the tension in the knee. For the straight leg raise, we're gonna start with the non-surgical leg being slid up. The surgical leg is gonna be straight. We're gonna tighten up the lower abdominals again, trying to draw the belly button down towards the table. Tighten up your thigh muscle, keeping your leg as straight as you can, and then lift up about 10 inches off of the table. Hold for the five seconds, and then after the five seconds, again, relax. Keeping your core tight throughout the process, and remembering to breathe throughout the exercise. Now we're going to scoot forward to the very edge of the chair. We're going to put your foot up on the front edge of a stool or an ottoman at the house. We've created a little bit of a gap between your back and the backrest of the chair. And so what we want to do is put in some pillows or cushions to help make sure that you do have some back support. We want you to relax your leg, letting your knee fall down as low as what you're able to get it. You want to make sure that you keep your leg relaxed and your foot relaxed. We don't want your toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Keep those relaxed to get a better stretch in the knee. For this exercise, we're gonna hold for 10 minutes. If you wanna do this with a little bit of overpressure, you can also add an ice pack or a little bit of weight to help press down in hopes of regaining full knee extension. For the patellar mobilizations, we first want you to make sure that you're able to locate your kneecap. We locate the top border and then also the bottom border. And we're going to glide up and down in a gentle manner, not expecting a great deal of movement, but you should feel a little bit in the kneecap. The next glide is going to be a medial and lateral glide. And here we're going to locate the inside border and then the outside border of the kneecap. And then doing the same thing with a gentle glide in each direction, repeating 20 times. <laughs> 